God is stronger. Our God is higher. Let's celebrate Him. Let's celebrate Him. Hallelujah. Say, my God is higher. My God is stronger. My God is higher. My God is higher. Standing together by his grace, I will continue by his grace. I shall be living God who is able. I shall be mighty God, a miracle worker. Today he's touching me. Today he's making a way for me. Today the Lord is raising me. My God is stronger. My God is stronger. My God is stronger. Say it again. The Lord can break it. The 
Lord can lift you out. The Lord can take you out. The Lord is a God. It's a provider. The Lord is a healer. on your way to get that business going, to get your ministry going, to get that project started, to complete that job for you. May this grace connect you to help us, to help us, I said to help us, to love us. May this grace connect you to give us, connect you to business opportunities. Release favor and wisdom upon the work of your hand. Somebody say this grace, say this grace. Say heavenly Father, say heavenly Father. The grace, the grace, say the grace. Somebody say the grace of my Lord Jesus Christ. May I know. So oh Lord, may I know this grace. May I know this grace. Let your amen roar. I say you online receive it by your amen. Somebody in the house here receive it by your top cross amen. Name. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. And somebody here celebrate the God of grace. Hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's clap for the God of grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome you all in the house, in this family. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. And today you will live here in abundance of that grace in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. And those of you online, I want to specially welcome you. Today is a very special great service in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those from Nigeria, you are welcome. And all over the world, you are welcome to this special grace. 
prayer mountain in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you haven't shared, please share right now, please. Share, share, Everybody share. please share. Share, share. Because share. listen to me. If I hear God right, somebody's going to the next level. Amen. Amen. It shall be by grace. Amen. Amen. It shall be by grace. Amen. Amen. It shall be by grace. Amen. Amen. We are targeting the area of your financial difficulties. Because that's what the Lord asks us to do. Amen. Amen. We are targeting those struggles, those poverty, those shame. It shall be over forever in Jesus' name. Amen. By this grace. Amen. So please share quickly. Share, please share, 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 share. share. Make sure you are shown all over the world. Share, share, because in the next three months, before the end of this year, you are celebrating the Lord of grace. Amen. You are celebrating the Lord of grace. Amen. Can I hear a louder? Amen. 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 We're going to have a little bit of sharing. Amen. Amen. We just a little bit and then we'll go back to prayer and then we'll go back to blessing. Amen. 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 Because I have with me here a good friend. Amen. Amen. A man of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus one year. Amen. It's Bishop Friday. Amen. On Monday when I was in my quiet time and some study and the Lord was showing me revelation of grace that target poverty that distress poverty that the grace of the Lord is not is not uh, limited to just uh, salvation we're talking about the manifold grace of God the manifold God's grace has many sides the abundance of God's grace is not about the quantity alone. The abundance of God's grace is about the functionality, what that grace can do. There is no limitation to the power and the wonder working of this grace. When this grace is working in your life, it stops sin. Amen. Amen. Wherever there is sin, grace abound to terminate it. If there's any power hold of sin in your life, grace is the answer. Uh, Christ means from grace to grace. Different kind of grace. The grace of the Lord stops any attack of the devil. Anywhere Satan is walking when grace comes in, they bow out. Amen. Amen. Grace teaches us to deny ungodliness. It helped us to overcome our weaknesses. Apostle Paul was so heavy on grace that he said, above all ministers, above all the other apostles, I labor more than them all. And it was not me, but the grace of God working in me. Amen. So there is a grace that can help your weaknesses when you are tired. So the grace of God cannot be limited. Limiting God's grace to only salvation or healing is lack of revelation knowledge of the almightiness of God. Wow. Jesus encompassed it all. Amen. Amen. And if this grace can terminate sickness, destroy sin in your life, why do you think it can destroy poverty? Amen. The Lord said, No, my grace is sufficient. And it began to show me that revelation and teaching that the second Corinthians was extremely all about the working of grace to destroy poverty. He was talking to the Corinthian church and reminding them of the Macedonian family who were actually very poor, but who gave abundantly out of this grace. Amen. Amen. And he was telling them, listen, a time will come that you will partake of their own abundance. So there will be equality. And these people are going to give out of poverty. So he was teaching about giving through grace and receiving through grace. That's why I now told them, Corinthian church, you know this grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, but through it, it became poor for your sake that you through his poverty might become what? Rich. And riches here wasn't talking about spiritual riches alone. I studied it and said, no, 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 this one about it's talking about literal riches, physical riches. Go study it. 
And I was saying this, God's of grace, is, God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you having all sufficiency in all things, may, in all things, may abound unto every good work. Hallelujah. He was talking about good works through all sufficiency that come from all grace. Hallelujah. It was amazing. So when I was studying this thing, then I just heard from Mama that uh, Bishop is coming all the way from uh, UK for any visit. I said, wow. Amen. Amen. I knew him as a man of grace. Amen. His ministry is called Grace What? Outreach. Grace Hallelujah. Outreach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so when I was in London, going to Nigeria, when I was in uh, June, right? June. I stopped by his church and we were having some fellowship together and were just sharing with me some testimonies of grace. How grace connected him, the ministry. To help us, to help us, to love us. So I didn't know it was going to mean a lot to me in that moment of sharing, and that God will connect us today and bring him here today. What's the plan? What's the vibe? That's why I know God has something for somebody today. Amen. 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 You never live here without grace. Amen. When I was in the church, I saw the emperor blessing. Wow. You are in a new place here. Yeah? Everywhere, jump back, who are even standing. I minister sometimes ago in his church in 2024. I mean, 24 20, years ago. 20 years ago. 20 yeah, years. that was in Kent, London. Yeah. And they moved. And I said, wow, this is glorious. Mm. This is good presence. Mm. Yes. And they began to share with me the testimony how they moved. How God connected him by favor. How grace released him to meet a man. He's going to share that now and encouraging grace. Amen? Amen. After that, I want you to release your faith Amen. and connect grace. I That's believe right. in grace in people. Amen? Mm -hmm. I believe you can tap into it. Yeah. So I decided to humble myself and bring him to you so it can be a blessing. Amen. Amen. He was looking for a place. It was a man who looked for the place they are now. God connected him by grace to the place of prosperity. Mm -hmm. The man even looked for the place. The man, the, I mean, the church couldn't. I mean, you tell it. Come on, my man, yeah. God, go ahead. Let's welcome, let's welcome, let's welcome Bishop. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Somebody say, Amen to that. And he's God all by himself. Amen. The ageless one. It's truly a joy and an honor to be back home today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think the first time I visited yeah. Toronto, Canada, it was on your first invitation. Amen. That's well over now, 20 something 20, years ago. 22 years 22 ago. 22 years ago. I remember where's Angel and. Uh, and today is today, the yeah, day. Yeah. Wow, what a grave. <laughs> It was bad that today. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus well. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord, may the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Somebody say amen. That could not be a coincidence. And I'm here on his birthday because I still remember vividly when Papa first him. You are the first person that invited me to Canada to preach. Amen. You're the first person. And then you guys, so I spent the time with you in your house and then wonderful to see you now married men and women of God, serving God in your generation. And the best has just begun. Amen. Amen. And truly, it's going to be from grace to grace. Amen. Amen. And even on the birthday of God's servant son, mm. God will birth new things in your life. Amen. Amen. Should I sit while I share or should I stand while I just share? No, we are going to be praying very shortly. Yeah. The key word 
God laid on my heart to share for you is you can embrace God's grace. Amen. You can embrace God's grace. Amen. God's grace is the manifold riches of his favor Amen. that he bestows upon us through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So grace is not only for giving, it's for embracing. Titus 2.11, the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men. Now, it's one thing for grace to appear, it's one thing for you to embrace it. You can embrace grace, you can reject grace. But this morning, within the short time we have in this atmosphere of prayer, the key word is that word embrace. Say embrace. Yes. Embrace. I quickly just show you because I was talking with Minister e uh, Eze. Okay. 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 When we were in the car, okay. and, uh, he was just speaking with, from the heart that God put in me what I was to share with you. Amen. And the key word that kept on coming is that word embrace. Amen. And this morning, you will not leave here without embracing God's grace. Amen. Amen. Somebody roll right louder. Amen. Amen. Somebody say embrace. 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 To embrace something is to welcome it with open hands. Amen. Hold, hug, accept completely. Amen. So this morning, say with me, this morning. This morning. I welcome with open hands. I welcome with open hands God's grace. God's grace. I hold God's grace. I hold God's grace. I hug God's grace. I hold God's grace. I accept completely. I accept completely all that God's grace. All that God's grace is and is bringing to me. And is bringing to me. Embrace. Embrace. Hallelujah. Embrace. Embrace. E M B R A C E. Amen. Embrace. Amen. Grace. G R A C E. Say embrace. 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 Grace. Grace. Embrace. Embrace. Grace. Grace. Oh Maria Takaya Boya. In the in the in the in the tournament of tennis, many of you know long tennis. When you're playing long, I'm not a long tennis player, but I love to watch Wimbledon. When someone is playing and you serve and the other person returns the serve, you have to keep playing back, back for it. But if you serve an ace, someone's an ace, ace. ace. the opponent cannot serve you back. Mm. And once you serve an ace, you score the points. Mm. There is an ace in the grace. Amen. Amen. Many things have been going back forth and backward, going forth and back in your life. But grace helps you serve an ace. Amen. That your opponent cannot reply. Amen. Amen. There's so many things forth and back in your life this morning. The ace in the grace will help you win in life. Amen. And that's what I testify about what grace has been doing in our life as a family, as a ministry, just like you. The enemy throws a lot of things to us, but we serve it back with grace. Amen. Amen. And with the haze and the grace, Hallelujah. you win. Amen. Spiritually, you win. Amen. In your health, you win. Amen. In your marriage, you win. Amen. In your ministry, you win. Amen. Amen. Regarding the testimony Papa was still telling you, it's about our building property. I mean, uh, this January, no, these um, August, no, September, August gone, marked exactly 29 years I pioneered the church. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. The ministry Woo. with four children, Amen. and out of those four children, two are my own children mm. and then the other two was from the other people that joined mm. then with six adults wow. that all together makes ten wow. in the front room of our house which grace provided Amen. Hallelujah. fast forward just like any other ministry 
we moved from place to place, mm. yeah. renting and uh, leasing. And uh, then we bought the first place, which was uh, a business center. And we had challenges with planning permission from the local authority mm. back and forth for almost 10 years with the local authority to wow. get a planning permission of that place you came from. Walkens Road. Walkens Road. Road. Back and forth. We finally got the planning permission almost after 10 years. Wow. Wow. But by the time we got it, I knew in my heart it was time to move. Mm. Because the next neighbor, just like similar to where you are today, mm. there was a scrapyard and the man wanted to buy our place to use. I said, you want to buy this place? You go look for me another place, then mm. I can talk with you. Tell mm. anybody, you go look for me. Yeah. You go, so you go look for you me, go 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 me. Go then I'll talk to you. And he went look for a property, which is a proper, well-built church. That's the foundation was laid 1906. Wow. It's a typical <laughs> British-built church. church. <laughs> With baptistry inside, God will give you a house you didn't build. Amen. God will give you a vineyard you didn't plant. Say, Grace brings it to me. Grace, Grace brings it, it to me. me. And in three days' time, as I was packing, it's amazing how we have so many things to cover. Yeah. Yeah. Packing in front of our old property of the church, he came from his office and brought a paper to me. He said, uh, I found this place. Uh, I know it's far, but you might like it. I'm sitting in the car. He's giving, giving me the, the paper of the building. Is fine. I said, okay, I'll have a look and I'll get back to you. Yeah. Guess who is talking? I'm the one out telling him. <laughs> exactly. I said, I'll get back to you. Then I went back to my office and checked where this property was. I looked. I said, looks, looks good. Very far away. Very far away, but very good. I said, wow. It was almost a million pounds, 960,000 pounds yeah, wow. in the market, yeah, wow. the property. I said, it looks good. So I called him back. I said, well, I think I'd like to view the property. He said, he arranged for the viewing. <laughs> he arranged wow. for what? The viewing. Yeah. And then I, f I agreed with the appointment. Took my wife there. We got to this purpose-built church on sale. I looked around, looked you. around, and looked around within. And after looking around, he said, do you like it? I said, I, I like it. Yeah, I, Tell kind of, I like it. I kind of, I kind of like it. He <laughs> said, let's meet in my office. Mm. So we drove back later on to his office and we sat down and we were talking. He said, Tell me, how much do you want for your property? He's asking me, how much do I want for my property? I said, I really don't know how much to say because when we bought it, it was just over 600,000 pounds. So I don't know what is valued now. Wow. He looked at me and said, you know what I want to do? I'm going to put an offer on the church. Whatever they accept as my offer, I'll pay you the same. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Somebody shout grace for favor. Grace for favor. Grace for favor. For connection, you will receive it today. He said, and by the way, do you still have any outstanding mortgage on your property? I said, yes. I said, I bought maybe over 200,000, we still have left to pay on it. He said, what I'm going to do? Because I want to do a quick transaction, I'll borrow you money to pay off the bank. Wow. <laughs> Somebody shall pay. <laughs> and then when you move into your property, you can pay me back mm. six months, one year. I said, that's fine. Then he shook my hand. Amen. Grace. Grace. Amen. <laughs> and within to all the documents, paper, lawyer, everybody started. Within three months, we completed. Wow. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 The money he paid for the for our building was enough to pay for the church. Mm. The loan he gave us to pay off the bank was sufficient. Wow. So between the time of selling and moving in, all the church spent was for all the legal fees, wow. which was just about 10,000 pounds. Wow. Now, how wow. do you move from a property 
which is less value to the church for just 10,000 10, pounds. pounds. Somebody shout grace. Say again, grace. And then we're moving to the property. We didn't have to do much, just repaint, no structural work to do. Mm -hmm. And then we now remortgage our property so we can pay him back his loan of 260,000 pounds. Mm. Now, guess what? At the time of completion, there was a clause that we will pay compound interest on the loan. Mm. But by the time we were to pay him back, our solicitor asked his lawyer, what is the value, what is the interest due on the loan to pay back? Guess what he said? Nothing. <laughs> Somebody shout great grace. Great grace. Can I hear you say great grace? Great grace. Say great grace. Great say great grace. I can't hear you. What I want to leave with you this morning is this. Grace embracing starts in your heart. This is all about my heart. So it's all about in my heart. It's all about in my heart. Man. Just like you, oh, just like, don't forget I told you, you can embrace. embrace. It's not in your mind, it's not in your head, it's not in your feelings. It's in your heart. Amen. Psalm 24 verse 11, 7 says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the King of glory shall come in. What is the gate that needs to be lifted? The gate of our hearts. Because it is with your heart you believe. Yeah. And it is your mouth you confess. Yeah. You must believe in your heart in the grace that is of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because grace is about Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the embodiment of grace. Amen. Jesus is grace personified. Ah, grace to grace. Wrap your hand around yourself. Mm. Say, I embrace, I I embrace, embrace God's, grace. God's grace. God's grace. The grace of our Lord grace Jesus. Of our Lord Jesus. The grace of my Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of my Lord Jesus Christ. Grace for possibility. The grace of possibility. In the face of impossibility. In the face of impossibility. Grace for health. Grace for health. In the midst of sickness, disease. Grace for prosperity. In the midst of poverty. Grace for victory. In the face of battles of life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, I curse the root I curse of, the root. Doubt, of and doubt and unbelief. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. In the name of Jesus, name of I, Jesus. Open my heart I open my heart to believe, to believe in the possibility, in the possibility of, God of God Almighty. I open my heart, I open my heart to, receive to receive the abundant grace, the abundant grace of my Lord. Christ. Open your mouth, begin to pray right now. grace of God helps you to take baby steps. For some of you right now, the current challenges you are facing is an opportunity for you to serve the ace in God's grace. Amen. Such that your opponent will not be able to serve you back. Amen. Say, I receive the grace, I receive the grace. to take 
baby steps to take baby steps in every issues of life. In every issue of life. I will not doubt. I will not doubt the promise of God. The promise of God over this issue. Over this issue. I believe God. I believe God that it shall be. That it shall be unto me. Unto me according to His word that He has spoken to my heart. I will not doubt. I will not doubt. But I will believe. I will believe the God of possibility. This morning, this morning, I take a baby step, a baby step of, faith of faith to act, to act upon the integrity, upon the integrity of, God's of God's promises to my life, to my life. right now. Right. Begin to walk around and begin to walk around in the name of Jesus. Song that I'll give you the next prayer point. Ah, hey, this kind God, another one, no deal. Ah, hey, this kind God, another one, no deal. Ah, hey, this kind God, another one, no deal. Open heaven, but also you must not live with closed hands. Yes, Lord. 
and says in my heart, some of you, you are in the posture that you've been walking like this. You don't relate. You close. Sometimes you are too suspicious of people. You can't walk in this embracing when you are always afraid to relate. This morning, this grace will create an atmosphere of liberty. Liberty. Amen. Say the Lord is that spirit. The, the Lord, Lord is that spirit. spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. There is liberty. Liberty, liberty. Liberty, to liberty. Liberty, liberty to prosper. Liberty to prosper. Liberty to go forward. Liberty, liberty, to go forward. Forward. liberty for new relationships. Liberty for new relationships. Because you need to understand that when God wants to pour out his grace or favor, he will use people. Amen. He can even use your enemies. Mm -hmm. Because the act of the king yeah, is in the hand of the, the Lord. Lord. And he will turn it whithersoever he, he wishes. Will. This morning I want to pray God with you. That every man, every woman that God has ordained to be a point of connection to the grace and favor is bringing into your life. Every barrier between you and them is broken. There will be a divine connection Amen. with your helpers of destiny. Amen. There will be a divine connection Amen. to the next level God here marked for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No more closed heaven. No more closed hands. No more closed hand. No more closed hand. In my life. In my life. Open hands. Open hands. Open heaven. Open hands. Open heaven. Open hands. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. I get to pray right now. All around my life. Open heaven. Open hands. Open hands. Open heaven. Open hands. Open heaven. Wherever you are. Open hands. All over the world. We get to pray in tongues. Open hands. Open heaven. Open hands. I could say that enough. Open heavens, open hands. Amen. Amen. Lift up your heads, oh, oh ye gates, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and be ye lifted, ye everlasting doors, that the King of Glory will come in. Lifting of your heads is like opening of your hands. Mm. It's like opening of your gates. As I was sharing with you about that testimony, everything was wrapped, wrapped, wrapped up after we shook the hands, even though there was no physical exchange of money. But by shaking of hands, can you imagine I've spoken? They want to help you stretch your set his hand, and you're still doing like this. The deal will be off. Yeah. yeah. I declare that every God-given deal will not be half in your life. Amen. There will be a supernatural completion Amen. of every project you start. Amen. For those of you who are young, who are believing God for new relationship with regards to your husband, your wife, many of you believe in God for the fruit of the womb, open wombs. Amen. 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 To conceive living babies. Amen. 
No more closed wombs. Amen. No more closed heavens. Amen. No more closed hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Three verse sixteen, Matthew three sixteen. Mm. Quickly, quickly, put it on the screen for me. Those who are watching, those of you who are listening, Matthew three sixteen says, "When he had been baptized, mm. Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens oh. were opened Amen. to him." And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Verse 17. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Amen. This morning, Jesus was baptized in that river Jordan. But for us today, we are baptized into Christ. Amen. We are baptized into Christ. Amen. Our baptism goes beyond water. Mm. We are baptized into the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I am baptized into the grace. I am baptized into, into the, the grace, grace of my Lord Jesus, my Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. And the heavens are open. The heavens are open. Over my life. Over our life. With the voice of approval. With the voice of divine approval. Upon my life. Upon my life. The voice of favor. The voice of favor. The voice of grace. The voice of grace. The voice of victory. The voice of victory. The voice of life. The voice of life. He's speaking over my life. Under this open heavens. Under this open heavens. Because I am baptized into Christ. You are baptized into Christ. to pray right now. Open heavens. In the name of Jesus. I am baptized into Christ. I am baptized into this place. I am baptized. We are baptized. I am baptized. We are baptized into Christ. I am baptized into Christ. Thank you. 
You can hug God's grace. You can hug oh, God's grace. The Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 4, Delight yourself also in the Lord. Amen. And he shall give you the Desire. desires of your heart. What desires of my heart? The desires of my heart is the desire God helped me to desire. Mm. As I delight in him. Amen. God will begin to put in your heart. Certain desires. That didn't come from your head. Or your flesh. But from your heart. Amen. Because you delight in the God of grace. Hallelujah. To delight is to show affection. To delight is to be affectionate toward Jesus. Oh I pray more than ever before. You will love Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will love the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Just like you will go any length to do something for someone who you know affectionately is interested in you. Amen. How much more do you think God will go? What length you will go? Because you delight in Him. Amen. We're not just seeking His hands, but we're seeking His face. Amen. And as we seek His face, we will have what is in his hands. Amen. Say, as I seek his face, as as I seek his his face he will give unto me what is in his hands. How many of you know he's got the whole world in his hands? Amen. He's got the whole world where? In his hands. So we don't look to his hands, we look to his face. Amen. And he who holds the world in his hands will give what is in the world hmm. to those who seek his face Amen. with an open heart Amen. say this morning this morning i delight myself, I delight myself, in, myself. in the god of all in grace, god god of all grace. grace. I, seek first I seek first the kingdom of the god the of all grace and all his righteousness and all other things that pertain to life and godliness are added to me they are added to me no more subtraction divine addition Addition, addition of favor, addition of healing, addition of prosperity, addition of houses and lands, dividends, choice houses, choice good things. In the name of Jesus, I delight myself in the God of all grace, and He gives. To me, the desires of my heart. Begin to thank him right now. Begin to thank him right now. According to this grace, according to this grace, let your heart desire, let it be granted, let it be granted, let it be granted, let the angels meet you today, angels of supply, according to the working of this grace, let your heart desire, let him be gone to me. Let him be delivered to me. Let him go away. Let him be carried out. Let him come. Let him be a desire. Let him be granted. Let him be granted. And hold him to the warning of the grace. 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 Let the angels touch you. Let the heavens open up. Let the land give it 
to you. Let the land give it to you. Let men give it to you. Let the waters give it to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We sing this song and share one more scripture. We pray in our hand over to Papa. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good. with grace is about the atmosphere you create. Amen. Because God inhabits the, the praises of his, of his people. That the atmosphere around you will be an atmosphere of his grace. Amen. An atmosphere of miracles. Amen. An atmosphere of joy. Amen. Bible said the kingdom of God is not in eating or drinking but mm. righteousness mm. And joy, peace and joy, and joy in the Holy Spirit, Spirit. show me a man or a woman uh, of grace uh, yeah, I'll show you a man and a woman of joy in the name of Jesus every form of toxicity toxic is removed from your life no toxic marriage no toxic house no toxic body I speak atmosphere of miracles joy joy in your house joy in this house joy in this church and this joy of the Lord will be your strength strength to serve and aid in the name of Jesus Give me Psalm 84 verse 11. Psalm 84 verse 11. Psalm 84 verse 11. Quickly, quickly. Psalm 84 11. Psalm 84. Everybody read it with me. Go on. For the Lord God is a son and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withhold from them that walk in Christ. This scripture came alive in my heart a couple of years ago when I went to do a late night prayer with one of our members who God opened the door for him to go and walk in Saudi Arabia. 
I want to do a night vigil with this special son of mine. Mm -hmm. And little did I know that prior to my arrival, he was diagnosed of lymphomic cancer. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, but we prayed in that atmosphere. It's after we finished that he shared with me what the diagnosis was. And I said to him, under the unction of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. because all I was sharing was this scripture. I said, count it done. That God has done the miracle you need. Amen. Amen. Because without him passing the medical test, he couldn't travel to Saudi to walk. Fast forward, everything was clear. Amen. That's how God helped us to pioneer that work in Saudi Arabia. Amen. The church in Saudi Arabia. I've been to Saudi more than 10 times. Grace will open doors for you. Amen. Even in strange places. Amen. Grace will bring you out of heal health mm. to great wealth. Amen. Grace will from every hill, health, or hill fortune to great wealth and great fortune. Amen. Open your two hands as I round up. Say, as I embrace God's grace, as I embrace God's grace with open hands, with open hands I, receive I receive that which God has given me, which God has given me right now. Right now. God is giving me grace. God is giving me glory. No good thing will be withheld from me all the days of my life as I walk uprightly before the Lord. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. 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 Open it out. Lord, thank you for giving me grace and glory. Grace and glory. Grace and glory. Grace and glory.
a car with a one cylinder and a car with two cylinder they are not the same mm -mm. from this day you will not drive a car with just one cylinder yeah. Yeah. but with two cylinders yeah. with a great horsepower yeah. and what is this two cylinder so it's a grace, grace. and glory Hallelujah. why two cylinders because there are crowns to cover Amen. Therefore, God will, God's grace and glory will give you new momentum. Amen. There will be some divine catching up. Amen. Even your lost ground, mm. you will catch up, you will overtime. Perfume of grace Amen. and the perfume of glory. Amen. When you go out, you smell of His grace. Amen. When you come in, you smell of His grace. Amen. His grace and glory Amen. will advertise Jesus in your life. Amen. I mean, I'm, you've come across some people when they walk past you and you smell what they are wearing, you cannot but say, mm, "You smell good, boss." But sometimes uh, when uh, when I go into some sh some shopping, I love to do shopping, and I've been to some shops. The guy say, what, what, are you, what, are you, "What are you wearing today?" I said, "You know, I don't even know which which shop there because I've got so many of them on the table. I just put it on <laughs> this morning. But you put it on. Hey, yeah, I put it on. I put it on." Lord, I seal every prophetic mm. prayer mm. 
with the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says it is done. That is the blood that speaks from above. That speaks from heaven. And this blood speaks better things. Better than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel was crying out of the ground. I can imagine the blood of Abel was crying vengeance. Vengeance on Cain for what is done. But the blood of Jesus from heaven is speaking mercy. Is speaking grace. Is speaking glory. Not over the lives of your children. Those here, those watching online, may the blood of Jesus Amen. speak for you. Amen. Speak to you. Amen. Speak through you. Amen. Grace Amen. and glory Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. It is done. I say it is done. I say it is done. Amen. I say receive it. I say receive it. In your spirit. In your spirit. In your spirit. Let it be done. Let it be done. In your finances. In your marriage. In your health. In your business. I say receive it. It is done. I say it is done. Grace and glory. It is done. It is done. communion in the name of Jesus and please if you have not yet share please share share share, 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 share. because there are still somebody there that want to partake share. of this grace today share, share. the grace share. of our Lord Jesus Christ ah, as your amen will roar ah, like thunder may your own prosperity be elevated in the order of Christ's prosperity. I say let your prosperity be elevated to match with Christ's riches. You will prosper according to this grace. According to this grace. Whatever God has placed in your hand going forward must prosper. Flesh up and say, I believe in this grace of my Lord Jesus. I believe in this grace. I believe in this grace of the Lord Jesus. I believe, I believe, I believe in this grace. Release today. I tap into it. I tap into it. By this communion, somebody say louder, Amen. Let your Amen roar. I receive the flesh of grace. He was wounded for my transgression. Hallelujah. He was broken. For all my iniquities. I will never be broken again. Hallelujah. The chastisement of my peace is upon him. He was punished. He was rebuked for what I desire. Let no man rebuke me. Let no sickness rebuke me. Let no shame rebuke me. By the power. The power of this flesh of grace. Flesh of I, receive I receive with faith in my heart, with, in my heart. with gratitude, with gratitude in, my heart and my in my heart and my lips. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus for, the flesh for the flesh of grace. Of grace. Save the, the blood of Jesus now. Read it all. Listen to me. There are so many out there who don't understand the power of this grace. Or they just compare the riches of the world to the riches of Christ. 
They think about prosperity only in terms of money and materials. Let me tell you something. The riches of Christ can't be compared with the riches of this world. Amen. You got to understand it. The least of prosperity that can ever you can ever have in your life is material prosperity. There are many other things you can be rich in. You can be full of the Holy Ghost. Rich in the world. Rich in faith. Rich in the spirit. Full of wisdom. The riches of God are enormous. And when you have all these riches of God in your spirit, material riches is the least you can acquire. Amen. Amen. It's just easy to acquire with all this working in you. People are always trying to limit the grace of God only to add labor, to add labor. That is the experience of Jacob. That's okay. That is okay. If all you know is grace to labor, may that grace profit your labor. Amen. And it will. It will help you, connect you to uh, release wisdom and favor on the work of your hands. But that is not just the end of grace or limitation of grace. Isaac did not prosper the same way Jacob did. Jacob labored for 27 years for a woman. 21 years. But Isaac sowed in the same land. In the land of famine, Isaac sowed. And the Bible said in that same year, he received an hundredfold of blessing. Amen. As it said in the same year, in the same year, in the land of famine, God blessed him with hundredfold of blessing. Amen. I shall say amen and receive this communion today. May you tap into hundredfold blessing. Amen. That was why Isaac got blessed. He became great before he started digging well. He didn't get blessed by digging well in fact. His well digging business was opposed. He didn't prosper in well digging business until he got to be a Sheba. But he prospered in Gerard. He became great in Gerard. He went forward and the end of the day because of blessing. And that was Isaac's experience. How about Abraham? What did he labor? How many business? The Bible said Abraham went down to Egypt in famine. And then in verse 13, he came up from Egypt with blessing. He went down in famine, he came up with blessing. Ah, by the favor of grace, dynamically working to transfer the word of the Egyptian to his hand. Ah, I pray. As we receive this communion today, may you know this grace and make a dream. Oh, are you receiving it? I, I say, may you know this grace Amen. as the Corinthians knew this grace that make a rich. Amen. You know the grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, yet for your poverty, he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. I shall receive the blood of grace. May you know this grace. Amen. That continues the project Amen. that opens new doors, connect you to give us, connect you to opportunities, Amen. give you the land, Amen. give you the land, Amen. give you souls, Amen. give you favor. Amen. May you know that grace. Amen. May your children know that grace. Amen. May your children know that grace. Amen. May they know that grace. Amen. May your dead become soldiers. Let your income be elevated. Let your income be elevated. Let your savings grow. Let your savings grow. Let this great open new doors. Secure your profit. Secure your profit. Secure your mouth. May your 
children prosper in your hand. May time prosper in your hand. May resources prosper in your hand. May you prosper as Christ prosper. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. The blood of grace. The blood of grace. It is done. Amen. Amen. Offering of grace. Hallelujah. I say offering of grace. Amen. I can hear your amen. Offering of grace. Amen. We're going to give cheerfully and joyfully. That is all what it was all about in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and 9. Offering grace that makes you a giver. That makes you a receiver. Amen. amen. I say amen. amen. Wherever you are, put your hands in your pocket. Trust God to give generously. And the man of God today will release a particular blessing. That will manifest in the next 31 days. Amen. Over your finances. Amen. May the Lord of grace grant you somebody that will give you enough resources to pay off that debt. Amen. The same grace that connected. He didn't even share all the testimony. I wish he had time. If I went, he moved into a, 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 a far place. And God also moved him to buy a house. Mm. Better house around that area with the same grace yeah. of favor. Yeah. It was miraculous. You need to hear the second part. God did not only leave him where he was, God also moved him with a bigger house so that he can do the work. Mm. Whatever you need to get the work going, may grace deliver them to you in abundance. Yeah. I say may grace deliver it to you now in abundance. Amen. It is not about amassing wealth or buying cars or buying houses. Jesus Christ was so rich. He was people say he wasn't rich. He was so rich. He was so rich. Extremely rich. I mean just compare him right now in our days. He was traveling on boat. He was on ship. There was no light. There was no one day Jesus Christ said, we are, we are looking for money, raising offering to go on boat. No, there was no day. Anywhere he had to go, he was ready. He had so much money. The Bible said those who are ministering to him were wives of Eros Steward. Eros Steward was an economic merchant. The Joanna Suwana. The Bible said they ministered to Christ of their own subterms. Women ministered to him in so much that Judas was stealing from the port. Christ didn't care. He didn't even know. He was feeding 5,000. Who can do that today? Who will ever find little fish? And it, was, it was in the crusade. He went for a crusade of prayer and somebody remembered to bring fish. Bring fishes and loaves. And Christ was able to feed 5,000. That's how rich he is. If he were here today, billionaires today will be given into his covering. Yeah. Because of the grace. It's not about buying houses or buying cars. It's about expressing no lack. I say no lack. What you have to do, there shall be no lack. For the work in your hands, Amen. for your destiny, Amen. for your ministry. Amen. No death, Amen. no arrears, no not enough. Amen. May you live in plenty. Amen. May you eat in plenty. Amen. May you get the work done. Amen. May you get your ministry accomplished. Amen. It is done by grace. Amen. Let grace supply. Amen. Let grace make a way. Amen. Let grace connect you Amen. to the land and resources. Amen. I say, somebody receive it. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. Receive it in abundance. Amen. It is done. Amen. Let that grace be upon this offering today. Amen. To multiply it as a man of God bless it. I believe so much in grace. And so I said, man of God, you came in to minister somewhere. Where are you going? He might not be here today. He said, yes. And I thank God the Lord of grace brought him. The Lord of grace have answered your prayer. Amen. Amen. So put it in 
hands in your pocket and as the Lord leads you, give cheerfully. According as how God bless you, give cheerfully. It's not how much, it is the attitude, the grace of giving, the joy of giving with your heart. Amen. Please share, 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 share. share. share, share, share. It's Please time to me. give and let us sing. Singers, are we ready? Amen. Church, are you ready? Hallelujah. Shall receive, receive abundance of rain and forgiving in Jesus' name. to see opportunities. Amen. The eyes of your heart, even your mm. physical eyes. Some of you are currently in some jobs, but God will open your eyes to some new jobs. Amen. That Amen. Will, Amen. will exceed what you're doing. Mm. And your flesh will say, you are not qualified for that. Amen. But don't listen to your flesh. Amen. Listen to your heart. Amen. Make new inquiries. Amen. Because God has gone ahead of you. Amen. Amen. You are a great God. Where investment Amen. is concerned. Amen. Land, properties, houses. Mm. God will show you opportunities. Amen. Make inquiries. Amen. Not based on your pocket. Amen but based on grace. Amen. Years back, I went viewing houses. I didn't even have the deposit. Mm. It was after I viewed that God provided the deposit. Grace. Because if God put it in your heart, he will put it in your hands. Amen. Don't wait to see it in your hands Amen. before you believe it in your heart. Amen. Lord, I thank you for open eyes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. To see new opportunities. Amen. You will not doubt. Amen. You will believe. Amen. In the God of possibility. Amen. The God who put it in your heart will put it in your hands. Amen. And your mouth will testify. Amen. So it is. Amen. And so it shall be. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
let your amen receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this grace today, mm. go forward. Amen. Go forward. Amen. In your relationships, go forward. Amen. In your career, go forward. Amen. In your ministry, go forward. Amen. Amen. That every resources you need to accomplish more Amen. that the Lord has shown you, like receive it now. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Let this grace extend to your children, Amen. to your grandchildren, Amen. to every family Amen. know it. Amen. Let your neighbors Amen. know it. Amen. Let your relatives know it. Amen. Be an extension of this grace Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Nothing will cut it short in your life. Amen. Amen. Let the obstacles be removed. Amen. Let the opposition be removed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say it is done. The enemies of grace will not hinder this grace. Bitterness will not hinder it. In Jesus' name. If you know you are going to testify tomorrow, I want your amen to be louder than your neighbor. By this grace, by this grace, by this grace. Amen. 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 We really thank God for his presence today. And man of God, we are grateful that God's grace. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Big, big in grace. Don't look at his eyes. Amen. Amen. Mama, thank God for you always. Amen. 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 And the pastors are usually help us on the altar, also in the house. Pastor David, what do you say to them? Tell them you love them. Pastor David is saying, yeah, We love you. Amen. Amen. Do, you do you believe in I'm gonna we love believe you. It. I believe. Say loud and clear, Pastor David. We love you. Amen. Amen. I'm Pastor Tito. Can they hear you? Pastor Tito. Tell them we love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. And Mama is saying. We love you. And Bishop is saying. We love you. And I'm saying we love you. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, 10, uh, 15, 10, 10 a.m., please, we're going to continue learning about the keys to settlement. Amen. Amen. In Beersheba. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to try to round up on our management, discipline, amen, training, and impartation in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at your neighbor eyeball to eyeball. Say, go in this grave. Go in this grave. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah.